I'm going to make the filling for the pork loin, the stuffing. I made some cornbread last night and then I took some of it and I cut it into cubes this morning, about, I don't know, one inch, half inch cubes. And I put them on a cookie sheet and I put them in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes until they got a little on the dry side. I'm gonna put those aside for just a minute. And I have a pan heating here and I'm going to melt just about a third of a teaspoon of butter, not much. And to that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of very finely diced onion and an equal one quarter cup of finely diced uh, celery. And I'm just going to saute those just for a couple of minutes while they get soft. I'll go back to my stuffing, uh, my cornbread cubes. And to that, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of dried cranberries. Now, if you don't like cranberries, you could add raisins or you could even add um, some finely chopped apple. That would be good too. And I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of ground sage. Excuse me, this one's ground thyme. Come on, okay. And a half a teaspoon of ground sage. If you have fresh, that's great. But I don't happen to have that. I didn't quite get a whole tea half a teaspoon there. And then I'm also going to add, give this a little stir, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. And then I have some chicken broth, which I'm going to add to this to make it moist, because I don't want these big cubes. I want it to kind of break down a little bit. So that's good enough. these in get rid of this and now I'm going to add say half of the chicken broth I don't know how much I'm going to need I put in a little bit more than half and just going to let that kind of soak up for a couple of minutes so about two minutes to soak up the chicken broth All right, it's been about two minutes and the bread is getting, it's soaking up a lot of that chicken broth. I didn't add any more, but I don't want it this lumpy because I'm gonna be rolling the roast and, and then it would be very hard to roll it. So I'm gonna use a masher and I'm just gonna break down some of those cubes. Okay, that's broken down a bit. Let's see the consistency. That's better. I think what I want to do at this point is, because it's kind of loose, I think I want to add an egg for a binder. So let me get an egg. And just beat it up before you put it in. That'll just give it a little bit more body. Okay, that's good. All right, and that's really all there is to the stuffing. All I need to do now is let this, put it aside, let it cool for a little bit, which I'm going to do right now. And then I'll put this aside, I'll clean up the decks and I'll get the pork roast and we'll continue. Here's my piece of pork loin. This particular piece of pork loin weighs two pounds and four ounces. I know that because I just weighed it. What I did was I went to the store and I bought the whole pork loin and I cut it into three roasts for myself. Um, I find that it's a lot cheaper that way to buy it. So what we're going to do is butterfly this pork loin. And I've got a sharp knife and I want to cut, I'm not great at this, so I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna cut down the third, third of the way down or third of the way up. And just keep going in slowly. Kind of eyeball where you are. It won't be too bad if you're a little off because it's all going to be rolled, so you won't see the inside. Keep going little bit by little bit. OK. 
Okay, and now there's our first third, and now we do this piece in half. Well, I kind of make a little hole there, but you know what? It's not going to be the end of the world. Now, what we could do is we could cover this and pound it. And I think maybe I might do that. All right, I've got a piece of plastic wrap and I've got my mallet. And the only reason I'm doing this is it's thinner over here and thicker here, really thick there. Good enough. Now, if you don't have a mallet, you can use the uh, frying pan, heavy duty one. And now I'm going to salt it. Pepper it. And there's my stuffing back. So I'm going to take this and put this over a roast. Again, this is a cornbread stuffing. If you don't like cornbread, you can use a regular, you can use a sourdough bread. Um, I don't know about a white bread that's kind of, doesn't have much flavor. Okay. And if you wanted to, you could have made double the stuffing and put the other half in a little baking dish and serve it off to the side if your family's really into stuffing. Okay. Pressing it down and now rolling. I'm starting with the thicker side because this is the side I made the hole. See, you can see the hole. I'm hoping it covers. And I will make it. So now I have my rolled roast. Now, in order to keep this together, we need to tie it. So I've got four pieces of just kitchen twine. Now, if you know how to do all that, those butcher ties, I, one of these days I'm gonna learn how to do those, where they can go, they go right down the whole roast and they have a line and all the ties. It's, it's a beautiful tying thing. And here's our roast. Now, if you wanted to, you could wrap this tightly in plastic wrap and you could put this in the refrigerator and you could cook it tomorrow if you were gonna have company and just wanted to get this part out of the way. But I'm going to clean up this mess and go get a nice frying pan and we will start browning it. I've got a warm pan heating up and when I brown stuff, I like to use butter and oil for the taste and the smoke. So I'm gonna put one tablespoon of butter in there. And then I'm gonna put some oil in, a couple tablespoons. And then as soon as that butter melts, we're going to brown this. I'm gonna brown it on all sides. Our goal here is not to cook this, but just to brown it. I have my oven heating. And so when this is all browned, we're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending upon when it's done to like 160 degrees internal. So let's put this pork loin in there. And now that it's in there, I'm going to season the outside with salt and pepper. I seasoned the inside before, but I never season the outside. I'll do this, and then when I turn it over, I'll season that side. So this is going to take probably anywhere from five to six, seven minutes to brown it on all sides. There's our pork loin all nicely browned. I'm going to take it out 
and put it into a roasting pan. And then I'm gonna put this in that 350 degree oven, as I said before, between 30 and 45 minutes, 160 degrees internal temp. While the roast is in the oven, we're gonna make a sauce. I'm gonna pour off some of this fat because we don't need it. Wipe that up a little bit. And in the same pan, I'm going to put two cloves. These are kind of large cloves of garlic or you can put three small ones. Finely minced garlic. Just squish those around. And to that, I'm going to turn this up a bit, I'm going to add one and a quarter cups of white wine. This happens to be a Chardonnay. You don't want to use a fruity wine because you're already going to add something to this that's going to give it a fruity flavor anyway. Bring that to a boil. And now we're going to add one and a quarter cups of whole berry cranberry sauce. And to mirror the spices that we had inside the stuffing, I have thyme and sage again. Another scant half teaspoon of each. And now we're just gonna cook this until the wine kinda goes down. This will take maybe five minutes. Just keep an eye on it. The sauce is cooked down to about half, so I know that all the liquid, there's half of it left. If I take my spatula and I run it down the pan, it separates, but it comes back. It's not too liquidy, but it's not too thick. What I'm going to do now is transfer this to a smaller saucepan and put it on the back of the stove off the heat. And when the pork roast is ready and I slice it, then I'll warm up the sauce and serve it on the side with the pork. Our pork loin is out of the oven. It's been resting under a piece of foil for about 10 minutes. Let the juices all go back in. Um, I've got those strings on there, which I will remove. I won't bother having you watch me remove all of them. So I've got a plate here. And I'm going to cut my first slice. And you can see how beautiful that looks on the inside. All that gorgeous stuffing in that nice spiral. I'll put, I think I'll serve two slices per plate. And then we have that wonderful cranberry and garlic and it's just delicious. Serve that on the side. So here is our wonderful fall meal of a cornbread stuffed pork loin with a garlic cranberry sauce, a little bit of uh, some winter squash on the side, perhaps a glass of wine, maybe a salad. It's all you need.